Hello. Today we try to read this uh, issue. It's from uh, BMW. It's uh, E91. The guy said it's uh, it's dead. He doesn't work anymore, and he asked me if it's possible to receive this um, uh, data from from inside. I mean, like uh, Flash and the EPROM. And we will try to recover this data. I will use Kitag. And let's see if we are uh, able to communicate with this one with, with Kitak. Okay, and we go from there. And now I have everything on the bench. The connection is done. According to the, the diagram. And you should select the boot pin. It's uh, actually in this case, it's a EDC 17. Uh, C02 is the second pin from here on the right side on the, the processor is the second pin and you follow the tracks you have one here one here and the best point it, it's over here because it's bigger but you can if you want to solder you have two three positions you just go on with multimeter on the resistor mode and you'll find a better place where you Will have a good position. You can have different board than this one, but you should notice the boot pin is the second pin from the uh, processor, from this tricker. Okay, the second one, not the first, the second one. And just go and follow the track, and where you have a space, you can solder there. If you have the processor like this one with with the legs outside, okay. Then this is the uh, boot pin, the leg number two on this side. I looking on the data sheet and according to the data sheet I found this information because you have on the internet uh, many pictures but no one of them uh, will tell you exactly where is the uh, boot, uh, boot point if it's the different uh, board, okay? And many of many of uh, the people I saw on the, also on the forums they destroyed the uh, ECU because they didn't uh, take the boot uh, boot pin exactly where it was supposed to be. They take it wrong. Okay, and we've moved to this one here. This is our computer. As I said, it's a Bosch DC. 17 CP02 Let's we go here on the information and you have here also information about this and you have also uh, a BDM connection I will select the first one because it's CP02. And you can do a full backup or you can do do it uh, separately. Let's try to do also separately. And uh, see what we receive here, okay? First, we take the, the microprocessor. I use this kind of pin. If you don't move it from there, you have connection. If you move it, it's very bad. But to be sure, you can solder this uh, it, the wire directly there. But if you don't touch the, the table where you work, it worked for so perfect. Goes fast, it's not so bad. I will skip because I want to, I will try also to uh, read this one not on the three core, also in the BDM. And I don't want to make the video too long. Take me same time like for flash, and it's not take me same time like for flash, and it's not normal, but. What can I do? Okay. 
okay and I will try to read now also on the medium with these frames and let's see if it's faster or if it's a uh, difference on reading after that okay and I set the connection I put the medium frame here what I want to show you I keep it these things over here for boot and I connect with this wire or you can solder the wire from here straight to this pin I will show you here is much more light not the first one, the second one here where I put the marker here on the second one this one on the front it is uh, related to for the boot so you can solder the wire from here straight to here and it's not necessary to do with this cable to these things over here if you don't have this uh, BDM frame if you want to solder the the wires and if you measure with a multimeter from here you will have anyway the continuity to, to this one in the back of the board or to here Okay, let's try to see if it's able to communicate with PDM. I select it. I'll look once more on the boot pin. It looks good. Uh, I forgot to show you I still keep the voltage over here on the ECU and we should connect now the cable from here to to the kit I cable was connected but because I forgot to push uh, on the camera to, uh, for recording uh, microprocessor the map is already done and we do now the EE prom and let's see how quick it is The same. We have the same speed. Similar was also with the flash. There's no difference on speeding. And these files they are not so big. They are uh, one point uh, megabyte the flash and I believe eight kilobytes is a EEPROM. But the EEPROM is surprising uh, slow. When you read these things and write, it's on your own risk when you use uh, not uh, genuine tools for that. After this uh, reading, we will do also uh, writing. We will write back uh, the flash. On the flash you can do many things. It is not important what is Twitter. It's only I want to show you we can also communicate with this kind of issue also with the PDM. I put my fingers here because this uh, PDM support it's from from a plastic is this Chinese shit and you don't have good connection if you don't uh, press with your finger here on these needles you'll have errors and you should press over there it happens to me many times 
and this is the reason why I have my uh, finger here. In the future, I will take maybe this aluminium one. It's uh, definitely much better than this shit. I keep the camera, then you have idea how slow it is. This EE Pro, and let's see how bad it is on the when we will write this back. I am sure it's much slower. If on the reading it's it's so slow. And as I said, it's only eight kilobytes, the EE Pro. But at least we have this uh, data from the ECU back. I remember once on the um, uh, Skoda, it was also ADC-17 It takes around 1 minute to read the flash And when he showed me this message here, please wait It takes around 5 minutes to complete these things Then be patient, ok? As I said, the flash to it's over there And now we will so with the EE Pro 2 2 and uh, now we will write some same data from the from the flashback okay and we go from there I forget something important because before to make this uh, restore I mind this uh, writing back What do you believe if we can compare these things? In the program Already do have it, it's here One second Here, let's take the flash one and let's take also the flash two. And now, let's see if we do have difference on reading. As you can see, it's nothing, then, doesn't matter if you make a uh, free core or if you make uh, BDM, same results. And also on the speed, it is uh, similar. It's slow on pre core, it's slow on BDM, at least in my case. Now, we do have this one here, and let's put it back the flash too because I'm still on the BDM. For me, it's much more comfortable comfortable to make it on three core because I don't want to press with my finger. But it was only on the proper to show you uh, BDM and three core is the same results and same speed. It's not big deal or big difference. Attention, you should have original file for compression. A 
that I'm pressing with my finger, I feel the pain. I cannot believe this is the speed from writing. It cannot be possible to be so fast. Yeah, it was done. It's amazing. I didn't expect to be so fast. Okay, that's it with this video. Thank you for watching.